Hey ladies, I know it's been a long time. Look at these roots. If you want to know how I go from these crazy roots with blonde ends, it's been a minute, I know, to this beautiful look right here. Bam! <laughs> Y'all gotta sit back, relax, so I can tell you just how I did this. Okay. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You love Kimly. What up, what up, what up? I know. I already know. It's been a little minute since I've been back on and putting a video up on my channel, but I am back. I definitely have reasons why I wasn't posting any videos, but I'm back now. And I wanted to do a quick video on my natural hair and color update. So you guys have not really seen my hair on this channel at all, but I just wanted to show you what my hair is looking like now. I went through about eight months of just straight protective styling. I wore wigs, I did faux locks, I did twists, braids, whatever you name it, my hair was not exposed at all. What I did do though, when I did take my braids out or whatever prote protective style, I made sure I always got a trim, dust the end, something just to make sure the ends were nice and clean. And I am still due for a trim right now. Um, keep in mind whenever, I process my hair with bleach or whatever type of toner or color. I make sure that I go and get a trim after because I like nice, clean ends, okay? My hair, as you can see previously, I had a lot of roots. I had like about more than a quarter of my hair was just straight black roots. So the process took us about six hours and shout out to my beautician. She's been coloring my hair for more than six years at this point in time. and. I think it's very, very easy. When you find somebody you like, stick to them. When you find a product that you like, stick to it. You don't have to move around and go to a bunch of different people. So that's my um little, you know, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to show you guys what my hair looked at before and now what it looks like now. And I wanted to show you some of the products that I use to maintain my natural hair. So I plan that's the blend, is on leaving my hair out and not doing any wigs or braids for a little while and just, you know, rocking my real hair. But we shall see about that. So first I wanted to show you how we got to this color. I'm not a beautician by any means. I do not color anybody's hair but my own. Um, actually, no, I don't even color my hair. I use a toner just to try to maintain this color. Usually a beautician will use bleach, right? So we use a bleach to um, get this color. So it's called bleach and tone. First you bleach your hair, then you tone it so that it's not yellow looking, okay? I hate some yellow, yellow hair. So this kind of gives you a nice little subtle look. And so after you use your um, bleach, usually your beauticians use about 10 to 20 volume. You don't want to use high volume developer on your real hair because you ain't going to have no hair after, okay? Also, I did not get here overnight. All right, I have been bleaching my hair for years. Bleach, not dye. I do not dye my hair at all. We bleach it and then we tone it. Now, in order to have healthy hair, it's up to you. You have to make sure that you keep your hair healthy, you get your trims, you do your treatments, all of those things. That's how I maintain my hair. Now, after a couple of washes, sometimes this like nice, golden e tone or your ash blonde tone it starts to fade and your hair starts to look a little goldish or rusty so what i usually do to maintain my hair is i use the wella color charm and i use it in the color um the toner t18 and i mix it with a 20 volume developer so what you do is you pour the bottle out right and then you pour this in one time you pour it in Two times you mix it up and you slather it all over your hair. Now I have really thick hair, so sometimes I use two of these bottles just to make sure that my whole head is covered. After I wash my hair out, I always like to use a purple shampoo. So I've been using this um, Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo for years. And so you gotta be careful because you don't want your hair to turn purple. But what you do is you wash your hair and then you kind of let it sit. Sometimes I let it sit for like about 15 minutes and it brings like a nice cool tone and takes out the rustiness. I decided though that next time I wash my hair, I'm gonna try this Ion Purple Shampoo. And I just wanted to try something different and see if it gives me the same effect. And if I like it, I'll let you guys know. Whenever I wash my hair, I always make sure I use some type of co-wash, right? So when I'm co-washing my hair, I let it sit because my hair is really thick. And then I'll always use my Denman brush. If you have natural hair and you don't got this, 
what's wrong with you okay i love me a demon brush it really just pops the curls out so i'll use this this right here is the line that i've been using this is not sponsored fyi but this alpha g line this curlrific line is amazing so when i wash my hair i use the texture treatment so I put that on my hair and I leave it all day. Sometimes I leave it overnight. I don't even know if that works, but I'm just a lazy person when it comes to like washing it out. So I'll leave it overnight. After I do that, I will wash my hair with the Curlrific textured hair wash. So I love this shampoo. And then afterwards, I will then go and put the um, leave-in and I'll also do the definer. This is what I have been using. I will do a natural hair video and you guys will see the process, how I get my hair curly. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update because I know that I've been doing the wigs and I've been doing the braids and I just wanted to show you, your girl is back, okay? Like, do you see this? Do you see this? Okay. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you have any questions about my hair that I didn't answer, leave it down below. And thank you for continuing to watch. And I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>